Today, I'm going to address and give closure to a few syntax scenarios that I see students having problems with. I've had students come to me and tell me that they've been taught that you can just go in and do this. That those words are automatically going to be adverbs. Well, for the, with my experience, the majority of the time that may be true. It's not always true. In the maintenance of the rule one, rule equal performances, basic judgeship mechanics, you have to look at the whole thing in totality before you pass your judgment, before you bank your value in the word. So therefore, you have to look at the whole scenario before you put that syntax value in there, which I've shared with you here, courtesy of Colon Joshua Hype and David Colon Adams. Thank you, brother. So let's begin. This is going to be detailed. So bear with me. So we have the non-tangible contract, adverb the, modifying tangible contract word red into an adjective, which is coloring the non-tangible contract word medley into a pronoun. This is what the LY does. The LY is so poisonous that it can take a tangible contract word like metal or wobble or friend and modify it into a non-tangible contract condition of state. That is why most times when you look at a document, an LY will be an adverb, but not all the time. Again, I reiterate, you must take the entirety of the scenario into consideration before you bank your syntax value, which I've done here. We have a 134. Then we have a non-tangible contract adverb is modifying the non-tangible contract word the into a verb. So you see here is an example. The is a verb in this scenario. Then we have non-tangible contract A, adverb modifying tangible contract scary into an adjective, which is color and tangible contract box into an adjective, which is coloring tangible contract numbered into an adjective in the past tense, and now we have a number here. Now I've seen people come in and continue syntaxing as though numbers don't need to be addressed. Here's the thing. Quantum grammar, i.e. correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, is a language of closure. So if you're not saying or giving closure as to what that is, then what does that mean? Does that mean that the reader must assume what it is? Quantum grammar is void of the assumption, presumption, and opinion. So therefore, numbers must be addressed. And in this scenario, you and I have a tangible contract with what three is. Therefore, it is a tangible contract adjective coloring non-tangible contract on into a pronoun, which a pronoun is representative of any term in the English language or any language. Now we have the non-tangible contract, the, as an adverb, modifying the tangible contract word list into an adjective, which is coloring the non-tangible contract word of into a pronoun. Now we have wobbly, which is a non-tangible contract adverb because of the poison of the ly has poisoned the tangible contract wobble into wobbly, pure modification adverb, modifying non-tangible contract family into a verb. And now we have our conjunction, which is neutral, and then we have our Dangly participle verb, friendly, non-tangible contract. 
If there are any words in this scenario that you could just come in and put a number above and not worry about being uh, incorrect, it would be this word. Because there are two conjunctions. And, or. So if you see those words on a paper, you can go in and put a zero above them, and you would be correct, and you wouldn't have to worry about um, mistakes. So I hope this has helped further your cognition of the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, and the syntax mechanics. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me in a confidential at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. I'll take this time to also announce that I have a podcast that's uh, being broadcast across many platforms. It's a little bit different than this. The podcast is basically just personal story shares and opinions. Uh, so check that out. It's on the Anchor platform. I'll leave a link to that in the uh, description below. Thank you very much for watching.